Hey guys, it's Jack here from Basement Dweller PCs, and this is what I look like when I don't wear a hat. Alright guys, so today I'm going to be talking to you about my $50 AMD PC. So you're probably wondering how did I build a gaming PC for under $50 and we're going to start with eBay. So uh, most of the components in this build actually came off eBay uh, and I can't remember the prices however I do know what I have here. I have an AMD Athlon 2 X2 B22. Now that's a lot of twos but this is a dual core 2.8 gigahertz processor uh, underneath a stock AMD heatsink. The RAM in this build is two one gigabyte sticks and a single two gigabyte stick for a total of four gigabytes of DDR3 RAM. The graphics card in this system is a AMD HD 6350. Now the interesting thing about this is it supports Crossfire, so I went ahead and bought another one for another $9, uh, and that's actually included in this $50, however the performance numbers I'm running today do not include that in the total performance. This thing only has 512 megabytes of VRAM, however in my testing it was more than enough for gaming at 1080p and some of the most popular titles today. Now the aesthetic for this build is blue and white, and while it's not entirely pretty, it works really well. Here's some sexy b-roll. Alright, and so now that you guys got a look at the PC, let's go over the performance numbers. So like I said, I tested in some of today's most popular games, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start with CSGO. So I tested CSGO at 720p on ultra settings and 1080p on medium and high settings, both with 2x MSAA. Now at 720p we saw a barely playable 25 FPS with a max of 60 and a minimum of 13. However when we bumped up the resolution and turned down the settings we saw a average of 39 FPS, a minimum of 22 and a max of 140. So obviously the sweet spot for CSGO is playing at 1080p medium to high settings. Moving on now to League of Legends, we were able to run the game at 720p ultra settings with uh, anti-aliasing enabled and be able to get 36 FPS, uh, which is pretty good frame rates, especially considering that we have all the settings cranked up and anti-aliasing enabled. Then moving on to 1080p, once again at medium and high settings with anti-aliasing enabled, we got an average of 54 FPS, which is absolutely amazing. And if you're willing to turn down the settings a little bit more or turn off anti-aliasing, I promise you, you'll be able to hit a buttery smooth 60 FPS. Last but not least, I tested one of the most popular games of all time, Minecraft. And in Minecraft, we got 29 FPS while using fancy settings at 1080p. Um, and then when I installed Optifine, I only saw a three frame uh, improvement, so nothing much. However, if we added more RAM or clocked the RAM slightly higher, we might see a bit of a performance difference. So, a $50 build. Is it worth it? Quite possibly. This build just goes to show that you don't need to spend $500, you don't need to spend $250, hell, you don't even need to spend $100 to be able to play some of today's games. Now, do I recommend building a $100 PC? No. Do I recommend building a $50 PC? No. This is more of a proof of concept. However, if that's all your budget is, the cost of a brand new video game, and you need a PC, I'd say do it. Because the free-to-play games out there uh, might just be worth it. And they run perfectly fine on a system like this. So if you guys found this video interesting and you want to see more videos like this, go ahead, drop a like down below. If you didn't like it, drop a dislike. And if you really did, tell me why in a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see in a future video. And until next time, peace out.